All right, we're ready to knit the Cornhusker Mittens right mitten, and we are going to create the right gusset. If you've knit a mitten before, oftentimes what you do is you add stitches here, and then that creates the mitten. This is your gusset here, and um, so it's going to be different. It's going to be important that you follow the directions step by step. So in this video, I'm gonna walk you through the rows so that you make sure that we get your marker in and then we get you making one, uh, making one so that you increase in the right direction. So let's take a look. You'll have your pattern and you'll have basically the setup and there is the small and medium, and the large and extra large. And this is the setup round, round, it's just a setup round. And then it says begin following the charts. So what you see for rounds one through, uh, one through four here for um, the small mittens is basically what's on the chart too. Then you'll look at your charts. Now you'll need to pay attention. There is an adult small to medium chart. This is the gusset. This is the thumb color work. So let's look at that. This is the color work here. This chart is the color work that will be built on your thumb. So you'll be doing it the same as you go around. There's also a chart for the right mitten adult large and extra large. Same thing. This is the gusset chart. And basically you will be going one, and then you'll come down and go to this row here. Didn't work to get them lined up on the page right because I wanted to keep the charts big. So we'll refer to that when we get to it. But do make sure that you're working with the correct small, medium, large Excel. I made the large mittens. All right, so let's get things. Okay, for the setup round, the adult large, I'm going to use my main color, the, the gray, and I'm going to do uh, the instructions that tell us to knit 20 stitches. Two, three, four. Thirteen. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. And then I'm going to put my marker there. So it says place marker and knit to beginning of round. So our beginning of round is here where my, um, where my tails are. So I will go and I'll do my magic loop and I'll knit to the beginning of a round. And I'm gonna be using the red yarn and I'm just carrying it up um, underneath, along inside. So I've left it attached. So we'll turn and get around and then we'll be ready for round one. I went ahead and clipped in a marker here so that I would know that that's my beginning of round. These stitches here, these 20 stitches, never change. We're going to be doing some increasing over here. So now it says begin following both charts, rounds one through five, knit to the marker, slip the marker, make one left, knit to the end of the round. And we are working this, um, this chart. So this is our row one, because we're knitting across the thumb mittens. And then you'll do your make one and knit all the way around. These boxes on your charts say repeat to the last four stitches. And then this is how your last four stitches end. So we don't have a chart that goes all the way around. This section is repeated, repeated, repeated. And then this section is the last four stitches. So you are gonna start with the mitten because these are the mittens. So we'll look and that's anything that there's, there's not any, everything means that that's a knit stitch, okay? And it's knit with our background color or in my case, the gray color. So I'll knit across and then I'll show you how we do it. Okay, 
I've knit across to the marker, which this is my thumb stitches. You'll slip the marker and make one left. So to make one left, I lift up the bar and I put it up onto the needle. And then this has a long leg and a short leg. And I knit through the back loop to make one left, the, sh the short leg. And then I knit, the directions say, knit to the end of the round. So I'll turn my magic loop and I'll come over here. And I'm going to repeat that five more times. And then we will start to do our color work. I might have misspoke. Um, I needed to repeat it four more times for a total of five plain rounds. And I've done my make one here after the marker and you start to get this little ridge that builds there and you can see that this is starting to flare out remember these are your thumb stitches and they never change so i have 20 stitches here so now i am ready to start this row six of the chart so it's knit one knit red three one three one three one so I'll do that, and then I will come across to row six. I'll slip my marker, make one, and carry on. There's no need to trap any floats with this. They're all a reasonable amount of uh, floats. There's just no reason to do this. So I will start, my red is there, and um, I will knit with one gray one red, three gray, one red. And as with all of our color work in this project, once you kind of build that foundation, then it's going to be easy to put the three atop of those, excuse me. Let's go though across and I wanna show you how to do that make one again. So I'm referring to my chart, make one three there. And I'm looking at the end of my chart and my chart says I should have two stitches. I do, that's a good check, okay? At this point, I slip the marker and then I'm going to start this chart. And so I will, the dot means make one left, knit two gray, and start in with the red. So I'll do my make one left again. I lift, there's lots of different ways you can do it. I just like to lift from behind. I put the bar up on my needle, and then I just roll right into it and knit, uh, knit into the back of that. Then I'm going to knit two, and I will um, go back to my knit red, one, two, three. Okay, turn and continue on. All right, I just completed round nine which is your break round where you knit just with your, your basic black background color. But you never take a break from making one. So if you look at the chart, that dot, it happens every time. And now I'm built the little uh, red X's, X's, crosses, um, all the way around. Now I will repeat it again and um, repeat the chart and then you finish with two uh, with three plain rows sorry three plain rows so i'll get that done and then we'll take come back and take a look these are your thumb stitches if you've knit mittens before you might feel like this is your thumb stitches but it's not it's actually the hand stitches so i'll finish up and we'll take a look at um, what your project should look like and what you'll do next Okay, I have completed 19 rounds. You can see how this is built out. This is actually your hand, this is your thumb. You can also check your numbers at this point. So the pattern will tell you that you should have um, 
a certain number of 49 uh, stitches total. Um, uh, you can check your numbers that way and then you're ready for, I'm sorry, um, don't pay attention to the numbers I said. Um, just pay, look at your pattern and it will tell you um, 63 stitches total. Now I'm ready for round 20. So round 20, you're going to have to come back to, um, you're going to have to come back to your written pattern and it says knit one, knit 18. And then we are going to get rid of the marker. This is when you'll get to see the thumb come to life. So here's my 18. <clears throat> and then what we do is we're going to place these stitches on a holder. So I'm just going to use a sock weight yarn um, to hold those stitches. And you will just use a, a darning needle um, to put those stitches back on a holder. This one, this needle I happen to have in here is a sharp needle. So I wouldn't recommend doing it, but I'm just going to do it because that's what I've got. Okay. So you kind of push your needle up so that that um, holds those. And then you'll click these over and get them off of the needle. Do, 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 do. So that's why you want to use a dull end darning needle. I don't have one right handy, so I'm just making do. Just wouldn't want to split those fibers with the pointed needle there. Okay, so you click off those stitches. Place these 18 stitches on a holder. Okay, so let's count and make sure we've got 18 stitches there. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 17, and 18. Okay, so just pull that through. One of the things that I like to do with this is I like to just tie this off. So that then I've, I've done it where I haven't tied it. And sure enough, I have lost them. So I tie it up. And then it will say, knit one. Slip mark. Where, where are we at here? knit one, slip the marker. So actually your working yarn, there we go, knit one, slip the marker and knit to the end of the round. So that's going to be all the way around. And then we'll come back and do round 21 that will um, do a little SSK and get things. Okay, you've got one stitch here and one stitch before the marker. We want to close that gap up. And so we're going to do an SSK. So you simply slip as if to knit, slip as if to knit, knit them together through the back loop. And you'll want to cinch that up tight because you're coming from the back of that. You remove the marker and you knit to the end of the round. And that will tighten up. Got our, we've got our, sorry. We've got our thumb stitches here. Let me get to the end of the round and then we'll come back and take a look at what it should look like. All right, this is what it should look like when you're done with this section. And this has become the thumb with the stitches on a waist yarn. We'll come back and look how to pick those up. Now we're ready to start going up. And I have cut um, to, to finish the top of the mitten. I have cut the red because there's quite a bit of a gap here. So I'm not going to carry uh, that up. But this is what your right mitten should look like. So it does kind of fan out like that and your color work um, flows all the way around your mitten.